Uh, Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Senator, always great to see you. Good evening to you. Good to see you. Yes. Look, you. Aisha set it up perfectly for us there. When it comes down to it, the CBO said over the next 10 years, this bill will cost the American people roughly $400 billion more. It is not paid for, as the Democrats suggest. And this is at a time where we're debating the debt ceiling. Um, and we're also really worried about inflation. Your reaction to what's happening on Capitol Hill right now? Well, it's going to cost even more than that, because when you look at the Penn Wharton study and others, it's not a $1.75 trillion bill. It is about a $4.5 trillion bill, because what they're doing is giving you 10 years of taxes to pay for a year of programs, and they're planning to continue these programs. And also, the CBO score did not consider the impact on the economy of the tax hikes. Mm -hmm. And you've got tax hikes that are there on on uh, cigarettes and liquor. And Joe Biden had said, oh, you can count on me. I'm not going to raise any taxes on anybody making less than $400,000 a year. Well, chalk that up to the growing list of lies that Joe Biden is spewing out of the White House these days because his numbers are wrong, his math is wrong. They said this bill wouldn't cost a penny, and we know that that is not right. It's going to cost hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars. And Joe Manchin has tried to be the voice of reason here. He's tried to work with them. He brought the price yeah. tag down already. Um, but now Durbin is saying, you know, it's time to get on board. We've talked about this and, and uh, you know, it's time to move forward. But there's a real reason that Manchin is sort of looking at this, all the dynamics, how it's going to impact the yes. American people and the economy. Also, as you mentioned, these poll numbers keep coming down. This is not working for the Democrats. And, and he might be thinking to himself, I'm not sure I want to be on board with this. Well, I would think any Democrat that's on the ballot in 2022 is thinking twice about this and looking very closely at what the impact is going to be. What they know is if they, I mean, look at the things that are in this bill. Illegal immigration, which is one of the very top issues. Money for all these vaccine mandates. People are not anti-vax, they're anti-mandate. Mm -hmm. They don't want that. There's money for tree equity, for crying out loud. You know, think about these programs. It's going to drive up the cost of health care. It's going to drive up the cost of child care. It's going to close the child care Mother's Day Out program at your local church because you can't get the subsidy unless you use a government program. Mm. That is going to cost you more money. And some of the estimates on these child care costs show child care costs doubling and tripling. Yeah. Now, people are already paying too much. And on top of all of this, you've got the gift of inflation that Joe Biden has delivered to you just in time for the holidays. Everything costs more. Thanksgiving costs more. Christmas is costing more. It's harder to get goods because of supply chain problems. The American people don't want this. And they're showing the Democrats they don't want it. But the Democrats are thinking, you know what? Let's roll the dice. Let's go for it. Yes. We know we're going to lose the House, the Senate, but it'll be hard to get rid of these programs once we get them on the books. You, that, you bring up a great point there, because when I heard um, Senator Schumer talking about this, how it's going to be on the president's desk before Christmas, I was thinking back to how Nancy Pelosi was saying, oh, we're not going to decouple these bills. We have the votes to get them passed. And sure enough, um, she did have to do that. But they push and push and push. They roll the dice and they posture so that people think that they have it under control. We're going to have to see what happens. Senator, always yes. great to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you.